We know ChatGPT to be the generative AI that can only read and write. Well, guess what? The text-based language model has found its voice, hearing, and sight thanks to some new updates. With new text-to-speech attachments that allow it to hear spoken commands, process them, and give vocal replies, you can now have free-flowing conversations with ChatGPT. It's like Apple's Siri, but with much bigger brains and processing power. In this video, we'll be talking about what's new with GPT-4. The good news just came in on the 25th of September 2023. On OpenAI's official website, they released a feature titled ChatGPT can now see, speak, and hear, where they talk about the wonderful capabilities of the new upgrades. Although they didn't give much away in the article, the attached video demonstrations were enough to sate our thirst. Let's look at some video so you can see exactly what this upgraded version of ChatGPT 4 can do. We want to hear a bedtime story. Tell us a story about the super duper sunflower hedgehog named Larry. Start with telling us a little bit about him. In the video, we see a human querying the AI with nothing but words, prompting the language model to flex its creative ability to conjure stories. Now notice the rapid response time here, as ChatGPT quickly responds to the user's queries with one of its natural language voices. Larry was a unique hedgehog unlike any other. He had bright sunflower petals instead of spines. Residing in Meadowville, Larry spread joy and color wherever he rolled. The clear advantage of the voice conversation feature here is convenience. Going over the same task via a text prompt would have taken a considerable amount of time. Text-to-speech streamlines the interaction between the machine and the user. This is especially true for cases where you have to throw follow-up questions at ChatGPT, quite like the example we just looked at now. We'll put the link in the description so you can see what we mean. Besides giving users a more intuitive experience through its new ability to hear, the added ability to see allows users to add images to commands and improves the range of tasks that the model can handle, giving it a better understanding of the user's problem. Give this AI a glance at the contents of your fridge and it can advise you on what you should have for dinner. And if it recommends some meals you don't know how to cook, don't be shy to ask for recipes and step-by-step -step instructions. Another cool thing about the image feature is the fact that you can call GPT's attention to certain parts of a picture by using a drawing tool to create a circle around it. Here's an example of a user who asked ChatGPT how to adjust the seat of a bicycle and sent a picture so the instructions would be more specific. We see that ChatGPT gives us step-by-step -step instructions and even asks the user to send pictures of tools so it can provide further guidance. It seems the user is confused about what part of the bike is the lever, so they draw a circle around one part of the bike and ask ChatGPT if that's it. ChatGPT correctly identifies the encircled object as a bolt and tells the user how to adjust it so they can lower the bike seat. Furthermore, the user takes a picture of a toolbox and its manual and sends it to the AI assistant. It points out what tool is needed for the tasks and tells the user exactly how to use it. Now that's impressive. The interaction was so smooth, it almost sounded like ChatGPT was a friend who knew their way around bikes. The fact that AI assistants could identify the different parts of the bike and could also tell which tool was the right size for the bike shows the amazing cognitive abilities of GPT-4. You can also count on ChatGPT to help you with technical problems like graphs and math questions. All you have to do is take a picture of the particular problem you want to solve and ask the AI model to help you with the solutions. When OpenAI announced the new feature on September 25th, they said it was bound to go fully public in the next two weeks. According to OpenAI, the voice and image features will be available on iOS and Android, while users can access the image updates on all platforms. If the rollout of the new feature is anything like the previous ones, we can expect it to be released in the United States first before it reaches other parts of the world. Users in Europe will mostly have access to the upgrades next, while UK users probably won't be getting it till much later, somewhere between three weeks to one month. I'm really looking forward to trying out these features, and I know I'm not the only one. Now that we know some of the things we can do with the upgrade, let's see how OpenAI actually put it together. The upgrade is divided into two parts, voice and image. For the voice update, 
OpenAI uses a text-to-speech model, a voice recognition system, and some deep neural networks. OpenAI leveraged a speech recognition system called Whisper to transcribe your audio to text. It basically takes your speech and turns it into texts that ChatGPT has no problem understanding. GPT then processes your command and generates answers that are sent to a text-to-speech model, which converts them to spoken words modeled after professional voice actors. OpenAI didn't disclose the name of the text-to-speech model used for the final step. Through this setup, you can interact with ChatGPT using spoken word to engage in back and forth conversations. Oh, and you can also talk to the AI in your preferred language. Another impressive thing about the new ChatGPT feature is the voice quality. It sounds very natural. In fact, you probably won't be able to tell it's an AI speaking if you weren't told. They also provided a variety of voice options which range in terms of pitch, tone, speed, and gender. OpenAI provided some voice samples on the website. Once in a tranquil woodland, there was a fluffy mama cat named Lila. Under the shade of an old oak tree. Milo, Lila began, her voice soft and gentle. Milo's ears perked up, curious. A new playmate, Lila purred. Will she chase tails like I do? Lila chuckled. Oh, she'll have her own quirks. I nodded eagerly, already dreaming of the adventures they'd share. For the female voice options, there's Sky, which has a deep, calming voice, and Juniper, with a more excited tone. For the men, Cove's voice has a smooth baritone, while Ember's has a vibrant, high-pitched sound. And there's Breeze, who has a somewhat gender-neutral voice. GPT-4V is the engine behind the new ChatGPT's image recognition features. It was built on GPT-3, a natural language processing model. The big question here is how did OpenAI take a language model for interpreting texts and teach it how to understand images. Here's how. Although the developers created both of them using the same training technique, they didn't learn with the same data. GPT-3 was trained solely with online texts, while GPT-4V learned from a collection of pictures and their corresponding captions. After seeing millions of images and captions, the model figures out how to predict the title and description of any image thrown at it. It can identify a single object and explain its relationship with other objects in a scene, and can also recognize faces. And things get more interesting when GPT-4V partnered with DAL-E3 to integrate image generation. The model went from just identifying images to generating them based on text descriptions. Type your image into the text box and ChatGPT creates it in a matter of seconds. You can also use the text to image generator to make changes to existing pictures. Check out our video on DAL-E3 to learn how you can access that image generator at no cost. If you need guidance for day-to-day -day tasks, help with technical problems, or a friend for a quick chat, the soon-to-launch ChatGPT upgrade sounds like a good fit. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to AI Wave for more recent news about artificial intelligence.